Hey everyone, The Flying Holucha here, and today we are going to be unboxing the entire Neon Genesis Evangelion Blu ray collection. Now I'm talking about the series, which consists of 26 episodes, all on magnificent 1080p Blu ray. Then I'm also going to be talking about the rebuild movies uh, 1.0, 2.0, 3.0. Uh, remember, 3.0 plus 1.0 has not come out on Blu-ray yet. It, uh, I think it released in March of 2020. Uh, all the films are available to stream on Amazon Prime, I think. Amazon, yep. But uh, they redubbed it as well, and they sound shit. Uh, even though uh, Spike Spiegel, uh, he still voices... On all of them, uh, 1.11 or 1.0, whichever way you look at it, Oscar's not in it, so you know you don't have the original voice ask, uh, you know original voice actor from the 1997 voice actor voicing her. Um, uh, you know no one can do it better than she can. Uh, I don't even want to mention Netflix girl. You know she was flipping horrible, horrible, horrible voice actor. But um, uh, certain parts she did well, but I'm I'm you know they're only the parts that I looked. I haven't even watched the Netflix dub. Uh, soon after unboxing the Ultimate Edition, I was unfortunately the second person in the whole of YouTube to unbox the Ultimate Edition. There's a guy called uh, I think it's Six Things I Hate or something. He managed to beat me to it. He uh, he uploaded like thirty minutes before I did. He uploaded 30 minutes before I did, so yeah, he's got over like a thousand views in his arm, just about to hit 400 views. But, uh, if I had uploaded before him, more than likely I would have got more views, but because he uploaded before me, yeah, the problem is... Problem is, uh, yeah, and then there's another guy who uploaded after me, uh, he's got an Ava channel or something... Uh, he only posts Neon Genesis stuff. He managed to get like 600 plus views or whatever. But then all of his fans are Ava fans anyway, so it makes sense he's going to get a lot more views. But, uh, yeah, it's a shame. I mean, he beat me by like 30 minutes, but, you know, I had to work, you know, so I didn't have any chance to upload it sooner. I also filmed it later as well. But, uh, if you're looking to uh, see me unbox Neon Genesis Evangelion on this video, you'll be disappointed. I'm not unboxing it in this video. I'll show you the sides again and the back, but I'm not showing inside. I have a video for that. There would be no point me making that video, then would there? If, uh, if I'm going to unbox it in this video, there's no point of me making a video of it on its own. So if you want to see the unboxing to Neon Genesis Evangelion Ultimate Edition... Please click the link in the description below. But, uh, yeah, we've got the rebuild movies as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that out of its box, show you the sides and, you know, what have you, but uh, that'll be about it. So when looking at the new Genesis Evangelion from this angle. So it looks like like that. Gonna show it from the side. Whoa, okay. <laughs> and for the back. I don't get this bit in the corner there. It's really strange. It's not a bump, because I've ha I've kept this thing in a box. I've kept this thing in a box ever since I got it. So it, it's not a bump, it's just the way it's been made. Very strange. But, uh, but it's definitely not a bump because the corner would have been pushed in. But uh, yeah, it's just the way they made it, unfortunately, I don't know. Just the back of the box. And the other side of the box.
See, look, just sort of the way they're made. See, that's not a bump either. Just the way it's been made, really. Quite strange. Uh, I mean, yeah, for 200 odd pounds, I mean, there's no way in hell I'd be, you know, dropping this thing, you know? Even if I dropped it, yeah, even if I dropped it, it'd be a humongous dent because of the weight behind it. But yeah, it's just unfortunately the weight is made. I'm kind of annoyed that they made it like that, but, you know, if it was made like that originally, I can't really complain. Poland. Country of origin, Poland. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, you got uh, England, America, and Australia there. But yeah, enough for the Ultimate Edition right now. We're going to start unboxing the rebuilds. Yeah, it's very strange about that corner of the, uh, of the Ultimate Edition. I mean, I've had it in the box ever since I uh, unboxed it. So, ever since I made that video, it's been kept in a box since. Uh, whenever I... Whenever I... Uh, well, I watched the entire Neon Genesis soon after unboxing that. Not in one day. It took me about three, four days to do it all. But uh, I I rewatched all of it. I, I watched it all in Japanese this time. The first time I watched it, I watched, you know, the original 1997 dub. Then... Uh, yeah, years later, <laughs> I watched it again in dub, and then I watched it again in dub, and uh, and then I have a decision, do I watch the Netflix dub or the Japanese? And of course I went for the Japanese, because I'm not going to watch that horrible Netflix dub. But uh, yeah, I watched it all in Japanese from all 26 episodes. I had to torture myself into watching uh, uh, Death True too. Uh, I think Death and Rebirth is just, it's... A, a compilation of the uh, series, and then uh, you get like a four minute, 50 second uh, interlude, which why they even did that, I don't know. That is only like, you know, contained with the DVD. I don't, I don't think the actual cinema did that as well, but... Uh, and then, yeah, so you get like the uh, one, two, tw uh, you get literally a re recap of the entire 1 to 26 episodes and then yeah then you get like an interlude like a gone in the wind had because that flipping old ass 30s film that's nearly four hours in length i think it's like three hours of 50 or maybe a bit more i don't know but yeah there's an interlude and then it goes straight into the end of evangelion so it doesn't you know cover the whole of the end of evangelion it covers like the first 24 minutes or something it ends when, uh, remember Oscar's being circled by the birdies? <laughs> you know, the uh, advanced AV units or whatever they're called, I can't remember. But uh, they're circling her, you remember? And she's sort of looking up and they're all circling her. Well, uh, yeah, it sort of ends there. But, um, yeah. We're going to start unboxing now. So, what I have right here is Evangelion 1.11. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think this was released in 2016. The actual film, if I can remember, was released... Uh, 2011 or something? I really can't remember. But it was it was released nearly 10 years ago, I think. 10, 12 years ago. But uh, unfortunately, the info sheet is indeed missing. But... Uh, I'm going to show you a really quick video explaining why it's missing. So I'm going to show you a video by, I think, it's UK Anime Network. But yeah, here's, here's an explanation as to why it's missing. So uh, as you can see, BBFC logo on the front here, also uh, part of that cellophane. Um, so hey, if you, I've seen a debate online recently about like what to do with these uh, these insert cards or, or stickers as this uh, as this um, instalment uh, shows. Um, in this case, you don't really have a lot of choice because once it's gone, it's gone. Um, but uh, I don't know. Do you really refer to those all that much? Probably not. Uh, so there you go. So we now have our clean uh, front end. Uh, on the back here, we have uh, Shinji as well. So yes, as you saw, it's one of those dreaded 
info sheets, you know. Uh, my Noain has that uh, problem, but uh, thankfully I bought it brand new and sealed, so I wasn't worried about losing the information sheet. Uh, uh, my biggest, biggest uh, letdown was my Sword Art Online Season 2 Collector's Edition. I'm not talking about the limited edition, you know, that has the uh, limited edition box and you just get the standard Blu-rays individually. Now I'm talking about the collector's edition, you know, that has, like, Death Gun on the front. And, uh, I think on the side it has, uh, I'm looking at it now, uh, it's behind me, I'm just gonna look at it now. Uh, yeah, it basically has, a uh, Xenon, uh, or Asada, I think her name is in real life, Xenon and, uh, the child version of Xenon. But, uh... Yeah, bas uh, you get like four parts. You get parts one, two, three, and four. Uh, they all had info sheets, but they're like stuck to the shrink wrap. So as soon as you take the shrink wrap off, like he did in the video, it just comes straight off. It's not stuck to the box, which I wish it was. I also hate it with, uh, you know, the uh, Sword Art Online Alicization and War of Underworld unboxings I did. You know, the little paper sheet. Well, it wasn't stuck to the back, you just, it literally falls off the box. As you take the cellophane off, it falls off the box. You know, this, the video you just saw a minute ago, you take the shrink wrap off and it's stuck to the shrink wrap. But instead, this time, you know, it's actually, it's just loose, so it just sort of falls off. But uh, thankfully, they're small enough to fit in the box. Whereas uh, my other unboxing, my uh, Eureka 7 Anemone, that info sheet was too big to fit in the box, so I just have to sort of uh, put it, you know, in storage and just put it together, really, with it. But, uh, yeah, anyone that an manages to get this collector's edition that I have right in front of you right now, you will 100% be guaranteed to not get that. Well, not 100%, more like 95%. You will not get the info sheet included. There's only one listed on eBay, and the guy's selling it for, I think, £85 or something. He doesn't have the information sheet. He doesn't have it. He just has the box that I'm showing you right now, and the art cards and the booklet. Doesn't have the information sheet with his. So, yeah, like I said, like you saw in that video, it's not stuck to the bat. It just comes up with a shrink wrap. My honest opinion, if you're watching this video, please... One day I might actually uh, end up buying from you, and you might, you know, you might never know. But uh, when opening one of these, take the cellophane from that way, yeah. So you have it still stuck to the box, and just take the cellophane, just cut it down here, so you can just take the uh, things out, like I've done in previous unboxings. You know, keep the cellophane still attached. You can still see the actual artwork through the cellophane, or the shrink wrap, or whatever you want to call it. You know, keeps it clean, keeps the information sheets from just falling off. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, my Sword Art Online Season 2 Collectors has that problem. Uh, any other anime that has that problem? Uh, annoyingly enough, my uh, deluxe edition of uh, Ghost in the Shell, weirdly enough, the information sheet was stuck to the back and someone still dug it off with their fingernails and managed to get it off. Didn't make any marks, but for some reason they just idiotically took it off. So that's also highly out of print, and you literally cannot buy that anywhere. So I, I just kept it anyway, even without the information sheet. It's still worth a you know a fair amount of money. <clears throat> but <clears throat> yeah, I've never ever shown this on the, my channel before, only because I recently got it the other day. I bought it from uh, CEX, and I was there's another one by Mangi UK. It's a AV unit uh, two, just standing ready to aim at a at a at a uh, at an angel. <clears throat> it's an angel. <laughs> He's ready to aim at this angel, and uh, I think the American version sort of you sort of turn it and it it sort of reflects the light or whatever. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd be getting the UK version, which is basically identical except the. Uh, you know, it's just plain like that, and it doesn't have the hologram thing there if you go like that. But uh, I thought I'd be getting the Manga UK 1.11, and instead I got the uh, all the anime 
1.11, which is strange, because I wasn't expecting to get this, uh, you know, collector's box. I was expecting to get the Manga UK, you know, cardboard sort of uh, box, but <clears throat> it would have fit well with those two, but this is better, just due to the fact that when you take these out... <clears throat> Sorry, i got a really bad throat. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it comes with, like, a nerve little piece of paper thing here. Like a little envelope sort of thing. But, uh, hold on. Okay, there we go. So we got uh, the Manga UK version. The UK version never actually had this. So it's very hard to see. It's very dark. I apologise because the card's just the way it is. You know, very hard to see. These look more like the, uh, they had like a CGI sort of short video. I think it was like two minutes long or something. Uh, I can't remember what it was actually called. I think it was like live action or something. It doesn't look like the uh, Ava 2 from the anime. It looks like the Ava 2 from the flipping live action, which I've never even seen and I don't want to see. But there are the art cards. Yeah, they're very dark, I apologise, but the booklet, if I'm not mistaken, you can see by the front of the booklet that it's identical to the front of the Manga UK booklet. Uh, it's bigger. It's a lot bigger. I think the Manga UK comes to about there. But uh, this booklet is amazing, by the way. Amazing booklet, see? So you get information... In there. Great information. I think I might have skipped a few pages, but screw it, you know. Loads of information, exactly what you need to see. Artwork on its own page, amazing. That's a 2.22 front cover. And yeah, I probably should have... Uh, I don't know what I was about to say. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so you've got the art cards and the booklet. And the digipack. There's the Blu-ray. Uh, the DVD looks to be on the left. I prefer the Blu-ray on the left, but uh, screw it. I can't bother to take it out now. There's a DVD and the Blu-ray. You know what? I might as well take it out to see the artwork. There is no artwork underneath. So I might as well do it now, but... God, that is a pain in the arse to get off. Come on, there we go. That's a 12 rated, by the way, this film. It's basically, 1.11 uh, is just one entire recap of, like, the beginning of uh, Neon Genesis. Yeah, it's, it's a recap. There's no new stuff. I think the ending might have a bit of new stuff. But uh, as far as I know, there's really no new stuff to it. There it says 1.11 there. Doesn't show any... There's all the anime, see? I would have said it's not going to show anything indicating that it's from all the anime, but it is, you know, the information sheet, of course, is missing. The only way to get it would be brand new and sealed, but as it's out of print, <laughs> I don't think you're going to get it brand new and sealed. <clears throat> Just happy enough to have that, but, yeah, and then you get a little, like, envelope sort of thing. Then we've got 2.22. So it's a little warm... See, because it's made of cardboard and it is quite old. That's, uh, that there, that could be easily uh, wiped off. That's just like a bit of sticky thing or whatever. Yeah, it's just where it's been sitting there and it's just, you know, gathered sort of dirt. But I can clean that off. So it's a bit worn in, in the corners, but it's made of cardboard, so what do you expect? So the top, there's literally is black. There's nothing there. And then that's the back. There's the information. I said things a bit darker to see, so I'll zoom in. 20 page booklet, though, is that it? The new character in this, I think she's brilliant. <clears throat> Oscar makes her debut. 
<clears throat> in the uh, rebuilds. Which is great, see? They have to show off, because, yeah, I thought this was amazing. On my anime list, I gave this a 9 out of 10. I think this is amazing. I love 2.22. I thought it was brilliant. <clears throat> just happy the rebuild movies didn't just completely recap everything, you know, from, like, the next part of the series. You know, they went off in their own little direction, which I thought was brilliant. Instead of recapping, like, the second half of the series, you know, which would have sucked. And then the third movie would have gone on its own little path. Sort of like uh, Paul and Maggie Madoka Magica. First two movies, recaps. Third movie, its own thing. But uh, I remember having the American version of this at one point. I wanted to unbox it on my channel, but I thought, nah. Because, like, the cardboard sleeve wasn't even included with it. But uh, thankfully I managed to get the UK version. Oh, come on, damn it. I hate, hate it when this happens. Look at this, look. I can't even get it out. What a nightmare. I'm going to have to pause this video. Give me a second. Right, very plain artwork. So old, the spine literally bends backwards now, making it easy to turn the pages. Yeah, information. Would have been a better booklet if it had, like, its own artwork. Well, there, you've got one bit of artwork. She's amazing, by the way. Oh, it would have been so good if she was in the TV series, but unfortunately, she's not. But she was amazing, by the way. My God, she was... Shinji, but better, you know. So you got the Blu-ray there, DVD there. See, because this character owns the Blu-ray, because she's amazing. She's got Oscar's spirit. She's got Shinji's uh, passion for when he is in the Aver and he's fighting the angels. But she hasn't got his cowardice, and she hasn't got Oscar's. You know, I want to be loved. But uh, yeah, that one. Has 6.1 true HD. 6.1. That's madness. I'm taking it that the uh, all, all the anime 1.11 uh, probably has like 5.1 surround or whatever. And then we have 3.33. Uh, fui fui. <laughs> Take that out. And the back of that. But yeah, this I've seen someone selling like all three rebuilds. For like hundred pounds something, and someone actually ended up buying them all. True HD, five point one and five point one Japanese. Yeah, his book looks a bit bigger. I'm not sure. I think it's still on my channel. I haven't privated or anything. Well, I went to HMV and uh, I got an Evangelion for ten pounds, didn't I? But the back at the bottom, like right, had a big dent on it. It was like there. But uh, show you the booklet. This one has loads of artwork. Would have been nice if the information was like right next to the characters, but screw it. You know, this is the Oscar with the famous eye patch. <laughs> I don't think in 2.0 she, you know, loses her eye at all. So it's sort of like a nudge, you know, nudge, nudge to the actual TV series, uh, to the end of Evangelion, not the TV series. Oh, artwork. He's wearing that thing on his eyes that he wasn't wearing in the series. In the, in the movie, he goes like <laughs> weird shonen villain sort of thing. He's very strange in the movie. Uh, yeah, I will be getting the collector's edition of 3.0 plus 1.0. Hopefully it don't cost more than 40 quid. Well, <laughs> I think they sort of uh, mold together. They nerf together. Uh, Oscar's uh, Ava and I can't remember the other girl's name, the new character. But uh, I think Kairu, uh, uh, Kairu, he, he's in this. He's in this one. For a short amount of time. <laughs> But, uh, and that's that. 
I think when you actually the reversal sleeve is it in there? Yeah, there you go. When you take this disc off like that. Ah, oh, come on, come on. Damn it. See, it's under there. See? Okay. Oh, my God. I'm trying to do this. Is there any scratches on it? Uh, not, not, not any major scratches. No, not major, I don't think. But look, I'm trying to do this, and then I'm one-handed, and then every time I do it, it flips back up again. But, uh, that was the DVD, thank God. You know, as long as it ain't the Blu-ray. <laughs> I don't even use the DVD, so I don't give a shit about a DVD. And then that's the Blu-ray. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this, uh... It's unboxing. You know, of all, all the uh, rebuild movies and the Ultimate Edition, link in the description. And yeah, I'll see you all very soon in the next unboxing, which is likely to be the Familiar of Zero, Season 1, 2, 3, and 4 unboxing. And then uh, after that, uh, presumably Steins Gate, Complete Series, Blu ray unboxing. Uh, then after that, more likely Alden No Zero Season 1 and 2 Collector's Edition unboxing. I was planning on doing a Kami Good Kill, like, way back, but I think around Sunday I was planning to do that, but that's not going to happen now, seeing as I wanted to get the uh, Collection 1 limited edition sort of box thing, but, yeah, <laughs> that ain't happening. Because uh, it, it went out of stock in CEX, and I was planning on buying it, but <laughs> my friend got COVID, we had to cancel our trip. I didn't want to buy it online in case these stickers and, like, little added shit was, you know, missing. Uh, but, yeah, someone went and bought it online. Or maybe bought it in store. I don't know. But, yeah, it's going to be ages before I do one of those unboxings of a coming to kill. But, I don't know. But anyway, I hope to see you all very soon. The Flying Halucha. Should bye-bye.